The Consortium for Advanced Data Simulation Research and Education, CADRI, is funded by NOAA. CADRI's goal is to advance data simulation research and workforce development and help NOAA improve their technologies for weather forecast. Data simulation involves integrating observations with numeric models to provide an evolving picture of the Earth system. It actually plays a critical role in weather climate prediction. This consortium will ultimately serve as a training hub for future experts in the field and facilitate a collaboration with the Joint Center for Satellite Data Simulation and NOAA's Earth Prediction Innovation Center. This consortium includes six universities. The University of Oklahoma, who's leading the effort, Colorado State University, Howard University, the University of Maryland, and Pennsylvania State University, and the University of Utah. This is a $6.6 .6 million investment that aims to enhance NOAA's numerical weather prediction systems, helping the agency improve the accuracy in predicting extreme weather events and responding to climate challenges. Data simulation helps us improve our forecast, and that's gonna ultimately help with saving lives and property all across the globe. The challenges for data simulation include efficient processing of large amount of diverse complex observations and then integrating them into numerical models. And these models can also be very complex, resolving multiple skills and also resolving process across different Earth system components. Cadre is leveraging both artificial intelligence, new observation platforms, cutting edge mathematics in order to push boundaries in data simulation science. Our primary mechanism for doing this is the Unified Forecast System, or UFS, which provides the infrastructure that also holds all the operational models that are run at NOAA. So Cadre is not only pushing boundaries of data simulation research, but also bringing new discoveries into this model infrastructure. Cadre scientists and students, as well as early career scientists who are supported by this consortium, will use a whole range of Earth observing systems, ranging from satellites, in-situ measurements such as surface observations, radar measurements, as well as aircraft observations to study scales of motion in the atmosphere ranging from individual clouds to the extent and coverage of sea ice in the Arctic to provide the best picture we can of the Earth system at any point in time. Not only will these improvements target the accuracy of weather forecasts, but also in how we quantify uncertainty. Both of these features are very important for not only routine forecasts, but also for the extreme events, which are becoming more frequent. Data simulation is actually transdisciplinary in nature. It requires understanding of mathematical algorithm, physical process, observations, modeling, high-performance computing, and also data science. So this nature and its growing need have led to the shortage of expertise in this area. KG seeks to address the workforce gap by its comprehensive education program. For example, KG students will be co-advised by KG professors and NOAA scientists, and KG will also develop further the class curriculum. And we also want to develop the training materials available to the public. So every cadre research project is centered on the graduate student and the training of the graduate student in data simulation. And this ends up being as part of their research project for their degrees. And the exciting aspect is that during the research program, they'll be working directly with NOAA scientists. And so they will be able to see as they're doing the work, how their research is actually going to change operational forecasts. And that's just incredibly exciting to be able to see when you're involved in the work. Kaitri really wants to promote global data simulation workforce development through, for example, the exchange program with University of Reading and the Transatlantic Data Science Academy and UK Med Office. We also want to entrain the ideas of data simulation to our high school students and also undergraduate students. With the expanse of cadre between collaborations with experts and continuous collaboration with NOAA and even international entities, I think the networking alone will set me up for continued success after cadre. CADRE will produce new knowledge in data simulation and also advance the science in data simulation. It will also train the next generation workforce in data simulation. With our research transition to operations, we potentially can revolutionize the forecast for severe weather events. 
cadre is going to be working on so many different aspects of data simulation that you wouldn't even think of, especially the new AI component. There's so much opportunity just coming from that alone. I think what I'm really appreciating as far as preparing me for the future is really been able to see this wide gamut of research projects happening within the cadre umbrella and can keep in mind moving forward on my own. My hope for the future is that we maintain this really solid community we're developing between universities and then within NOAA so that it becomes the foundation of really a broader data simulation community that can help the entire field in the coming decades. Our data simulation effort is only going to be strengthened by the infusion of these new talented scientists and students working together aligned with NOAA's mission to help us improve our weather forecasting.